Hi everyone and welcome to Form Modeling in Fusion 360. In this course, we are going to recreate this character using the Form Modeling tools in Fusion 360. Let me close this design. And before we begin, I prefer heading over to our preferences. I want you to head over to design and I prefer not seeing the ghosted result body. I'm going to disable this and select OK. Moving forward, I want you to head over to where you have extracted the exercise files. I want you to copy its location. I'm going to hit Control C to copy this location. Heading back to Fusion 360, Head over to insert. I want you to select canvas. And from here, let's select insert from my computer. I'm going to paste down its location. Hitting enter. And I want you to select our reference image named as character dash portrait. Selecting open. We are now prompted to select a face. To place that reference image, I'm going to select our XZ plane. Let me zoom in, head over to front view. And under canvas, I prefer the opacity of this image to be 50. And I would like to enable display through. I want this not to be selected. And when we render out the model, I want this not to be renderable. I'm going to leave the rest at its default state and select OK. Next, I prefer the distance from this point going to this point is around the 6 inches. With that, I'm going to recalibrate our canvas. To do that, let's head over to our browser, twirling canvases down, heading over to character portrait. I'm going to right click on this and select calibrate. Prompted to place points, I'm going to place our first point here. Left click and left click here. So once more, the distance between these two points, I want this to be 6 I N for inch. Hitting enter. And a double click on my middle mouse button to zoom extents. Now this image is calibrated having 6 inches from this point going to this point. Lastly, let me turn on the visibility of our planes and axis. Turning this on, and I prefer our origin to be at the center of this head. Let me head over to our canvas, selecting this, right click, selecting Edit Canvas, and let me pull this arrow down. I'm okay with this position. Selecting OK. And let's turn off the visibility of our planes and axis. Selecting this eyeball. Join me in the next lesson as we begin forming the character's head.